everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and let me ask you guys one question. Are you ready to save money from GW? Ugh. I know, I can't believe it. Holy shit. And I mean you're saving a decent amount of money. Uh, <laughs> um, I talked about this in my GW pre-order video, um, and I will be looking at it in more detail now, but basically... Age of Sigmar Skirmish is coming out. The book is up for pre-order now. I have it pre-ordered. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But there's four new sets coming out with it. We have the Corn Bloodbound Frenzied War Tribe. Uh, the Stormcast Eternals Hammer Strike Brethren. Flesh Eater Courts Night Feast Hunters. And the Iron Jaws, Iron Jaws Weird Knob Warband. So these are to the kind of tie in with the whole skirmish rules and everything that's coming out. And all of these are 55 euro. Um, as straight away I was thinking, uh, can you save money on these? It's like the price is pretty low, it's pretty decent. And so can you? And basically, by God, you can. You're saving actually um, a, a fairly decent amount of money. So before I start, make sure to leave a comment below and guess which one you're saving the mon most money with. And the one you're saving the most money with it is a substantial amount of money, actually. Now, when I read it down and I worked it out, I was like, do I have to double check this? That's, that's a lot of money. And as far as I can see, I'm correct. But if I'm not, make sure to let me know. Um, so let's start with the Corn Bloodbound Frenzied War Tribe. Um, so you're getting nine models, uh, and what you're getting is three easy to build blood warriors, uh, five corn skull reapers, and an exalted debt bringer. Now I have some corn models already, um, and I love their models. They're fantastic. I've never been interested interested in corn before Age of Sigmar, but now they're one of the main armies I'm wanting to try and build up over time. Um, so this war tribe is coming in at 55 euro. Um, make sure I'm looking at the right page. There we go. So you get three blood warriors. Now these are the easy fit ones. Uh, easy to build blood warriors. They're 12 euro. Um, you know, 12 euro for three models, but the models are really nice. And the easy to build is, they're designed really well to go together. Uh, so that's 12 euro. Then we have, let's see. The Skull Reapers. They're forty five euro for five. Um that's that's pretty expensive. And then finally let's look at the Exalted Uh Debtbringer. Uh there's three here and the one you're actually getting is the most expensive one for twenty three euro. And I love this model, it's awesome. Uh all together that adds up evenly to 80 euro so you're saving automatically 25 euro on these models so basically you're getting um the, exal the exalted debt bringer model for free in this box um and these you know these don't have to be just for the skirmish game these can be like a, a start for an army you know i know you have the getting started boxes as well but this is another option to have for nine models and like they're pretty good models. I love this guy. He's so good. And he's not old. He's pretty recent. The Skull Reapers are recent. I think the two of these are from the end times. And then the Blood Warriors as well. Oh, that, they're so nice looking. Um, and you're getting a general. The Exalted Deathbringer. I'm pretty sure he's a general. Like a leader type of guy. Um... So that's it for the corn. So you're saving 25 euro on them, which is which is a, a really good start actually. <laughs> um, so let's go to the storm cast eternals. Uh, hammer strike brethren. So what are you getting with these? Um, two easy to build cast eternal retributors, three easy to build liberators, and one at night quis uh, quisitor. Armed with Warblade and Sigmarite Shield. Oh, also three Prosecutors. Um, how many models are in this? About the same. Nine. I think they might all have nine. Oh no, they don't. Looks another Flesh Eaters have like way more. Um, 
But again, you're getting like a leader model and your couple of infantry type of guys as well. So that's coming in at 55 euros. So first we have, if this pays, it'll go up. There we go. Uh, the two retributors. Make sure it's little retributors, right? There we go. The easy to build ones. They're coming in at 12 euro. Um, they're pretty nice models, actually. I have them as well. Uh, then we have the three liberators. Uh, also 12 euro. They're actually, I really do. The, when I see the Stormcast models, I'm like, oh, I don't want to look at them. But when you're painting them and you have them in your hand, they're actually really nice looking. Uh, the Night Quisitor. Let's have a look. Uh, 20 euro. He's actually a lot cheaper than I thought he was. Uh, 20 euro. And then we have three prosecutors. Now, the thing with the prosecutors is you can't. Jesus, uh, I can't even spell. You can't get him. In patch of three, you have to get them in six. But well, that's what comes up here anyway. Um, so that's fifty nine euros. So I've cut that in half to twenty nine fifty. You know. Um, and basically, it all adds up to seventy three fifty for this whole box, which is saving you eighteen fifty. So I think you're pretty much getting the Quisitor for free almost. Just pay an extra one fifty. That's the same price as the Quisitor. And um, again, that's a great box. I think the thing with these might be you get the general for free type of thing, except for the flesh eater quartz. Um, so that's that's a pretty good deal. Eighteen fifty is not bad. Um, I don't know about the unit size. I don't even know if you can. Oh yeah, you can have two retributors, I think. But anyway, that's a really box to save money with as well if you want to get started with the Stormcast. Then we move to the Flesh Eater Quartz. Now this one is pretty straightforward. Um, three Crypt Horrors, uh, which you can make Crypt Horrors, Crypt Flares, or Vargeists. And then 20 Crypt Ghouls. Uh, with an option to build a Crypt Ghast Courtier. Um, then you get your bases as well. So this one's pretty straightforward. Um, the Crypt Horrors for the tree. How many is in this? Like 23. Yeah, there's 23 models in this. And I have nearly, every, I have nearly all these models that are here, except for the Iron Jaws and some of the corn guys. Oh, I dropped something under the table. Um, but I have, I have all these, and the Crypt Horrors and the Crypt Ghouls are really nice models to put together. They're great to paint. Uh, and they're really easy to convert up as well for other ideas. So the crypt horrors are coming in at thirty seven euro. I have written down. I have written down. Uh, crypt horrors thirty seven euro for three. Shit, I didn't think they were that expensive anymore. Fuck, but they're good. They're nice models. Um, then we have the ghouls. 20 ghouls. There we go. I think my computer was like having a panic attack because it has so much stuff to do. Like loading up a page. But uh, we f I finally got it up. The Crypt Ghouls are 35 euro. Man, I didn't think these were that expensive anymore. Holy shit. Um, altogether, it's adding up to 72 euro. Um, and you're saving 17 euro. So all the prices have been pretty similar. Um, but the corn one, you're saving the most so far. But, to be honest with you, for €55 Euro for a unit of ghouls and a unit of cryptars, that's really good. I, I am, I'm a big fan of the cryptars and the crypt ghouls. I really like them. Um, and this seems like a pretty decent set to get. Especially since they have their own book as well. So, um, Then we have a look at the Iron Jaws. Um. Uh, I love the new Iron Jaws models. They're so awesome. Uh, so you get five Auric Brutes, five Ard Boys, and a Weird Knob Shaman. So, I don't know if you get a leader with this one. I don't have the book. I haven't seen it, so I'm not too sure. But this one you do is the Weird Knob Shaman. Uh, it's the Weird Knob Warband. Um, so let's have a look at the Brutes. Um, so that's 42 euro, holy shit. Um, 
pricey enough, but they're brand new models. Maybe that's why the price is a little bit higher. Um, but they're meant to be really nice looking. Um, then we have a look at the Ard Boys. We have five Ard Boys. Um, again, the price with these had to be changed because there's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How many are in this? One, two. Let me open this up on a separate page. I thought it was ten in a unit of this. Maybe it's twenty. Maybe I have this one wrong. Okay, so you get fifteen of them, which seems like an awkward number. Um, to assemble fifteen hard boys, but I basically cut the price in half. Um, so if it's forty five euro for fifteen, it's fifteen euro then. So I had to I had to change a little bit, a few of the prices on this. Um, so that's what did I say? Fifteen for them. If you work it out like that, it's a pity you can't get them in like units of five. And finally, we have the weird knob. Uh, this is a lot of people don't like this model, but I think he's awesome. Uh, twenty eight euro. Maybe that's why they don't like him. He's twenty eight euro. He's pretty pricey. Um, all together, I had to do this roughly on the fly here because I got the math wrong on the last one. That roughly should add up to eighty five euro. And you're saving 30 euro. Because when I worked it out first, you were saving 37.50. And I was like, what? So, luckily I did double check the art boys there. Um, but it's the orc one. The iron jaws where you're saving the most money on. Um, the least amount you're saving on is the flesh eaters. But I still, I, but for what you're getting in it, I still think that's a pretty good deal. Um... The Bloodbound one is pretty good. They're all good, actually. They're all really good. Uh, the only one I'm kind of really unfamiliar with is the Oryx. Um, and maybe if you're doing Oryx, you'd want to get like bigger units instead of like two five-man units. That type of thing. But, um, yeah, definitely. Let me know what you guys think of these anyway. I probably might invest in one in the future. It probably could be the... The Fleshy Records, simply because I love them two units. They're one of my favourites. Um, but anyway, let me know if you guys, what you guys think below. Um, do you think you're saving a good amount of money? I certainly do. I think these kind of these other get getting started boxes are really good. And it's they're really starting to do more and more of these. Um, it's probably a great way to kickstart the whole skirmish game as well. Um, so let me know what you guys think below in the comment section. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.